what's going on guys this is the boot trampling boom beat so dr terry out that i'm gonna be having some fun with him guys i'm gonna be having some fun i'm gonna be using all warriors from stage one to stage 20 totally gonna be blasting him down and let's rock and roll this is my base and this is my eight bolts of warriors that i'm gonna be sending into dr terry's world guys so terry stage one let's not waste any time i'm gonna be tossing or using all of my gunboat energy upon that HQ. I'm gonna let the barrages and the terror shells rain upon Dr. Terror and there we go. Took down Terror Stage 1. He's pretty much gone and we're just gonna be moving over to Stage 2 because it's super easy. Hopefully I can take down Stage 2 as well with only our terror shells and barrage. We're gonna be tossing all of the terror shells and barrages and use all of our energy upon that HQ. Check this out. Use barrage and the two shells and sadly I could not take down the HQ so what should I do I need to take out my warriors I need to uh, take down some objects surrounding the base and hopefully before we get to the HQ the HQ will go boom because when you take down an object the HQ is losing HP I'm gonna be tossing a two shells on the boom cannon the machine gun when I do have enough energy to toss on those uh, on those boom cannons so tossing a two shells on the boom cannons the machine gun and there we go Terror stage 2 went down guys, yes, okay, woo, okay, pretty much hyped today guys, pretty much hyped, so terror stage 3, it's time to take, the terror stage 3, and the uh, HQ is pretty close, I'm gonna be tossing barrage and two shells, and come on, go, go power rangers, took down terror stage 3 with the two shells and barrage guys, this is super fun, it's super fun when you max up your two shells and barrage, they are super strong, and they can do it like this guys take down the hq and dr terror stage is super awesome so it's time to head over to terror stage 4 and what do we have here we're gonna be tossing barrage and terror shells same as on the one and two and three and there we go terror stage 4 just went down i mean like if I could do this from third stage 1 to 20, imagine how fast it would be, but that would be totally boring as well if you if you could smash down all of the HQ stages with the two shells, it would be boring I think, but this is actually cool, you can take down the third stage 1 to 5 with only barrages of two shells, and that is actually cool because it's actually 20 stages and you actually want to do it really really fast, well I, I want to do it really fast, I think it's super cool to do things fast, when I do attack real players I basically do not uh, scout the base I just hit the attack and just go in and just zerg down the base that is my motto and that is my tactic guys just just go in and attack I'm not gonna be scouting but it's a wise idea or it's really wise to scout the base first if, uh, before you attack because uh, 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 if, you, if, if you haven't mastered your warrior gameplay Definitely you need to scout and plan attack, but I just go in push the attack and just and I just go mad guys Madness from the warriors is just going badass yo So okay third stage six is gonna be tasting the hammers from the warriors and there we go third stage six It just went down. It's going so fast guys. It's like one two hits boom. It's like gone from the earth guys Okay, we're gonna be heading over to third stage seven third stage six is gone of course and uh, yeah, let's head over and we're gonna pushing the attack. I mean like Why should I be scouting? Why should I be scouting from uh, stage 1 to stage 5? That would be like waste of time. So let's rock and roll. We're gonna be flaring over to the machine gun there And I'm gonna be smoke screening of course and it's really far distance from the gunboat to this Location I tossed the smoke screen. It took like it took like two seconds before it arrived. What is going on? It was like not like instantly So turn stage 7 is gonna be tasting my hammer beautiful hammers from the warriors I'm gonna be smacking the HQ like a banana guys like a booty banana mm -mm -mm. So so okay, shocking the machine gun and sniper towers and mortars. We're gonna be rocking in this HQ right now. Hooga booga smash that power. Come on, there we go. Two Rochelles assisted the warriors, but I didn't really need to assist those warriors because they are so strong. This is a boosted up warrior, guys. This is boosted up warriors. They get tons of HP, tons of damage, tons of gunboat energy. It's just totally cool, guys. This is totally cool. It is just awesome. So okay, we're gonna be heading over to third stage 
8. So well, what should I do here? I'm actually going to be taking out the shock launcher because I really hate shock launchers. When the shock launchers are shocking the warriors, it's basically stopping my team. So you, ba you really need to pay a great attention on that shock launcher when, when you're using a warrior team. I mean, like, if you're meeting, like, three shock launchers or four shock launchers on Dr. Turn stages, it is really devastating for your warriors because they won't be able to do any damage and the machine guns and flamethrowers and mortars can basically just blast down your warriors. Even though your warriors are boosted out on, on, on HP, uh, they will still go down because the HP or the health bar on the uh, the health pool of warriors are actually really really low so you really need to be careful guys so third stage 8 just went down okay so it's time to head over to third stage 9 we're gonna be getting tons of resources from Dr. Terry today well I do not need any resources at all except the gold the gold is the only resource I need and of course the crystals that is why I'm taking down Dr. Terry but uh, you guys know that Tim from Supercell actually uh, uh, announced that they're going to be um, doing some uh, changes on the Dr. Terror events. I mean, like, I think it was I think it was like seven stages or something. I really can't remember, but I think it was seven stages. But it's going to be more frequently spawns on Dr. Terror. And there's also going to be a new NPC base or a, a boss. A boss. I think it's. I think that was what I read. It's gonna be a new boss. So I really can't wait for the update. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be cool. Uh, the only thing we need to do is actually just wait, and we're gonna be getting some super super. Um, we're gonna be getting uh, something special. I I feel it, guys. I feel this update is gonna be super awesome. So third stage nine just went down. I took the resources from this guy and we're going to be jumping over to third stage 10. I'm just going to be uh, finishing my warriors and we're going to be heading over to third stage 10. So this is the 10. We're pretty much halfway on uh, Dr. Terror. Uh, we're just going to be having some great time guys together. And okay, from third stage 10, it's actually getting harder. Uh, the rocket launcher is the start of the beach. And when the rocket launcher is is at the start of the beach, it's, um, it's, uh, it's starting to get harder because the rocket launcher will just toss rockets again your warriors when you're deploying your units and yeah check this out I still have like 30% of my warriors inside the smoke screen that is definitely a failed smoke screen like that but it doesn't matter I'm taking down this HQ anyways he just went down with me guys or he just went down I didn't went down <laughs> terror stage 10 just went down guys okay so let's Rock and roll, we're going to be heading over to third stage 11. We're going to be seeing what we're going to be facing there. What are we going to be facing on the third stage 11? I do not think it's going to be a problem. But as you see, guys, it's starting to get a bit more harder. Uh, there's a lot more uh, defensive buildings. Uh, they are more upgraded. There's more mines. There, there's more boom, boom mines. And it's getting harder. But it's going to be no problem for my warriors. Because warriors can really destruct Dr. Terry easily. Uh without without having any problems at all so on uh, this attack i'm gonna be shocking uh the boom cannon and the sniper towers probably yeah why not why not the boom cannons can one shoot or one shot my warriors and i really do not want to lose too much warriors because uh, it costs diamonds to instant finish the warriors it costs resources it costs gold it costs time if you don't have the diamond. So, okay, third stage 11 just went down. And we're going to be heading over to third stage 12, of course. And what do we have here? Okay, it's getting harder. But the cool thing here is actually that the HQ is not too far from the beach. That means I do not need... Um, I do not need a lot of gunboat energy to use smokescreen because uh, the problem when you're meeting Dr. Terror uh, with the HQ far behind at the base, you're using so much energy just to get your warriors up there and you won't have enough shock bombs to... Uh, to uh, shock those to rocket launchers, shock launchers. So yeah, terror stages can be really, really hard at the high, higher stages because uh, because of those placement, you need to use a lot of gunboat energy to reach the HQ. So we're smacking down the third stage 12, and there we go. We just blasted third stage 12, and we're just having a great time. Well, I'm having a great time. I'm always having. I'm always having a great time when uh, Doctor Terry's out. Definitely having a good time. 
Okay, so we're gonna be heading over to turn stage 13 and we're getting close to 27 more stages and we're pretty much done and I always I always love to make Dr. Terror videos because uh, they're informative and it's only it's all oh, oh, oh what do you call call it it's always a change on Dr. Terror gameplay because uh, the map is never exact exact same they're never same and that is cool because you need to do uh uh you need to um what do you call that thing you need to uh find other tactics you need to do other tactics than the, the tactics you're usually doing so that is actually great with the dr terror events uh it's uh it's challenging actually and i can't imagine how how it will how it will be attacking dr terror without any boost without any statues just non-boosted warriors non statued warriors that will be like impossible i think like that would like, be like impossible for warriors because you definitely need gun boat energy on dr terror stages that is like the number one priority the gun build energy and the second priority is going to be the damage and the last the last thing is the health that is really not too important for the warriors so okay uh we're actually on the third stage 14 now and we're going to be heading over to the boom cannon flaring to the boom cannon smoke screening myself up there and come on warriors move faster move faster and the cool thing with the warriors they are really fast they're faster than scorchers they're faster than tanks they're pretty much faster than all of the units in this game they're just running with a big hammer that crystallized hammer against the hq and that is so cool so okay third stage 14 just went down and i do feel it's Still easy, but it's getting harder. It's getting harder. If I'm going to be rating any stages that is really hard, it's actually the third stage 19 and the 20 is definitely the hardest third stages. Some say that the third stage 17 or 18 is harder, but guys, 19 and 20 is the, definitely the hardest stages on Dr. Terror Day. So, okay, we're going to be heading over to the machine gun and flaring ourselves up there inside the smoke like monkeys <laughs> monkeys we're gonna be uh, flaring once again to the sniper tower we're moving close we're moving like slowly to the hq but we're getting there and now we're on the hq we're gonna be hand blasting at the hq like a banana guy so okay we're gonna be shocking the shock launcher the rocket launcher the right side and also on the left side there we go pretty much shocked the both of the shock launchers and we're just smacking the HQ and of course there was a shock launcher on the south side of the base that I didn't see but it doesn't matter I took down the Thursday's 15 and it just went boom guys okay so I really can't wait to see what we have on the Thursday 19 and 20 that would be awesome will it be uh, will it be like really hard for me this time or will it be easy will the HQ be a very close to the beach or far away from the beach that is all all that is uh, that is what I'm thinking about always, will the HQ be far away from the beach or close to the beach? Because when it's close, it's really easy to take down the third stage 9 and 20. But if the, the HQ is really far behind there, it's definitely a pain. So, okay, third stage 16. Moving out my warriors to the machine gun. And there's like boom cannons there. I'm definitely going to be skipping those boom mines and mines i'm just going to be heading over to the object there and flaring myself up there with smoke screen and i'm getting touched by the rocket launcher i'm just going to be heading over to the to the hq right now let's head over to the hq and i'm definitely going to be shocking the rocket launcher and the mortars on the right side of the base okay so healing up the warriors they are getting ready to smack that hq smack that buddy okay shocking and we're going to be smacking HQ right now, third stage 16. This is third stage 16, guys. It's definitely easy, not a problem at all. I lost like one warrior in third stage 16. I cannot say this is really hard at the moment. So, okay, we're getting close to 19 and 20. We're going to be jumping over to third stage 17. Just going to be making the warrior there, and there we go. And let's head over to third stage 17, guys. Okay. And by the way, um, do you guys know what Wisdom 2 is? Uh, I'm having that right now. I'm having a great pain when I'm talking. I'm bleeding. My Wisdom 2 is actually bleeding. I'm going to be visiting the dentist on Monday because this is just painly. I'm just, when I'm talking right now, it's like, ah, ah, ah. It's like that, guys. So, yeah. 
We're gonna be continuing this gameplay. Let's not talk about my teeth or tooth or what they call it. Let's head over to the HQ. And we're gonna be smacking at HQ. This is Terror Stage 17, guys, and basically I'm gonna be shocking those rocket launchers. Because rocket launchers are definitely a problem for warriors to keep their health up. Because the rocket launchers are doing some great damage at higher stages. So okay, we got down the third stage 17. It basically tasted my hammer. My fishy hammer just blasted this HQ. Okay, we got like two more stages after this one, and we're getting close to done actually we're getting close to finish and uh that's pretty awesome the time went really really fast uh when i'm making a video i'm i'm thinking like okay it's like two minutes now but in reality it's like 16 minutes i'm like whoa with the time is running like a butterfly guys okay so what I, what i'm going to be doing here is actually moving my way up there on the right side i'm going to be taking the clear of the, the free objects first and then i'm going to be taking down the chalk launcher Okay, check out my warriors. They're actually splitting up. I'm actually just using flare to just uh, reposition my warriors. There we go. They are stacking up together again and the rocket launchers are tossing rockets on my warriors. But it, basically, I couldn't, I couldn't feel that on my warriors. It was really bad damage from those rocket launchers. What's going on? So basically what I'm going to be doing right now, I'm going to be flaring to the rocket launcher on the north side of the base. Using smoke screen to hide inside the smoke with my ninja warriors. And from the north side of the rocket launcher, I'm actually just going to be flaring down to the HQ. So heading over to the HQ, and there's tons of mines, of course, but I can survive those mine damage, no problem at all. So the thing I'm going to be shocking here is actually the, the rocket launcher on the south side of the base. I'm also going to be shocking the north side of the base, or the, the north right side, and, and I'm going to be start smacking, starting to smack in this HQ. Check this out. This HQ is just bleeding, and boom, there we go. We just blasted the HQ-18. Third stage 18 just went down, guys. So we got like two... Now, now we got like two more stages, 19 and 20. 19 and 20 this is actually the moment of truth is it going to be hard is, or is it going to be really really easy okay this is what i'm talking about it's the, the hq is it's very close to the to the beach it's really close to the beach and that's going to be easy because I'm, I'm not going to be using tons of gunboat energy to reach the hq okay so i'm i'm pretty much flaring myself up to the free object there or the object and I'm going to be heading over to the HQ right now, tossing flare and tossing smoke screen. And I really need to plan out where should I be tossing my shock bombs. I'm going to be tossing shock bombs on the right side of the base, probably. The mortars and the rocket launchers and the shock launchers. And let's smack this base. Third stage 19, guys. This is third stage 19. Pretty easy base. I lost like four warriors on this run. What is going on? Or this terror stage. That, that is truly awesome. Because on terror stage 19, I'm basically losing tons of warriors. And same with terror stage 20. We also got a crystal there. It's 100% guaranteed that you're getting a crystal on terror stage 19. Let's head over to terror stage 20 now. This is the last stage of Dr. Terror. And we're going to be having some great fun right now. Okay, so tossing barrage and tossing, uh, yeah, tossing barrage on the HQ and clearing those boom mines and mines. I'm gonna be flaring myself up to the machine gun there, and of course I get shocked, but it not, it's not a problem at all. We're gonna be heading over to the shock launcher. The second shock launcher up there, using smoke screen again, hiding my warriors inside the smoke screen, and from here I'm basically gonna be gonna be going straight to the HQ, and we're definitely gonna be winning this attack. Uh, I don't find any uh, problems at all on third stage 20. We're gonna be shocking the shock launchers and some of the rocket launchers, and this is definitely gonna be a win, guys. So tossing shock bombs on the shock launcher and the rocket launcher, my warriors are doing some great damage on the terror stage 20 right now and smacking and smacking and there we go we just blasted terror stage 20 like a fishy guacamole guys so this is basically it all of the terror stages are complete and cleaned i really hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like the video if you did like it and also do comments down below if there's anything you want to ask of to the next video so I really hope you guys will enjoy it. See you guys later and goodbye. Keep on booming. Boom.